Okay guys, in this video we're going to be continuing with our Node.js series and here we're going to install MongoDB and also known as RoboMongo. What MongoDB is, is this is a database which will store all your information and RoboMongo is like your MyPHP Madman which will allow you to visually see what kind of information is being stored. So to download this MongoDB, we're just gonna go right to it. And then under the download section right here, up top on the right hand side is a green button. And we click on this one. And then from there, we're gonna scroll down until we see these tabs. And from here, we're gonna click on one that says community server. And then from there, you can pick any one of these is fine. The SSL is fine. I'm just going to download that one. For the sake of time, I already downloaded it. It's pretty big. So I have already downloaded it for us to continue moving forward. So also for RoboMongo, you can go to RoboMongo's website under the download section. So I'm just going to click this and open it here. And then from there, just click on download button. And then this, this will come up. I'll just install a 64-bit one, which is the full install, not a portable. And click save. And then there we have it. We have our MongoDB and RoboMongo install. Let's download it completely. So I'm going to install the MongoDB first. So I'm going to open this up. And let this thing to kick off. All right, so once this comes up, I'm just going to click run. And then it's going to start the installation process. And then click next. Agree to the terms and condition. You can read through them. For the most part, it's pretty standard. And then in here where you can use it as a complete or custom, what I like to do personally is I'm going to click on custom just to keep things simple and somewhat organized i'm going to install that right on in my c drive but you can have it installed somewhere else but i'm just going to install it right in my c drive so i'm going to go up to my c drive right here and here i'm going to call create a folder called mongo and then it's called mongodb open this up then i'm going to install it this mongodb uh files there so I'm gonna click on next, install, and this doesn't take long. All right, once installed, you will see the screen and I'm gonna click finish. And we just need to add few more things to it in order for us to communicate it with our Node.js app. So I'm gonna open this up, go to my C drive, and then MongoDB folder. And in here, I'm going to create two folders. Well, actually three folders. One of them being data. And within this data, I'm going to create a folder called DB. What this will do is this will save all your databases in this folder. So I'm going to go back one folder. So I'm at C drive and then MongoDB. And in here, I'm going to create another folder called log. And then that's that. And then we just need to add one more thing. I'm gonna open up the bin directory, which is right here. And then in my address bar, in Windows, you can easily do that. Just type in CMD. And this is going to open up your command prompt. And then from there, I'm gonna copy and paste this one thing. I just copy and pasted this command. So I'm going to hit enter and I will get this and then I will have to enter one more command. What this is going to do is this is going to add it to the services file. So you don't have to keep on restarting and stopping and restarting the MongoDB. It will automatically run behind scenes all the time. So after that, I'm gonna hit enter 
and it's gonna go in this here. It says starting the MongoDB services. And pretty soon, once it's done, it's gonna say it has been successfully started. And after that, just to see if it's working, I'm gonna type in Mongo and then hit enter. And it's gonna give me this whole bunch of information about a MongoDB. I'm gonna clear this out. And just to see how many different databases there are already there, I'm gonna say show DBs. And then right now, there are only two databases that I already installed. So one is admin, another one is called local. In the next video, we're going to be working on installing the Robo Mongo, which is equivalent to my PHP. And I will see you guys in that video.